hi everybody so I know it's been a while since I've posted up some videos I've been just super busy with work I, uh, I work at a mental clinic mental health clinic excuse me and we have been slammed with so many new patients um, I'm pretty sure a lot of it has to do with COVID um, but yeah I've been working late a couple of nights and then if I haven't, if I've been getting home on time, it's just that I've just been too tired to, you know, film any videos and then edit them and then post them up. So I do have a lot of haul videos coming up. Um, I'm going to be off again for um, New Year's Day and then, of course, the weekend. To this past Christmas, I was off Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and then, of course, the weekend. So I did have, um, you know, a break, but today is... It's Saturday night right now, and it's only now that I'm actually filming. So, anyways, let's get started. This is a surprise box, literally a surprise box, that I got from my dear friend Kat, um, who is known as Seeming Hall on Instagram. Um, I did not know that she was getting me this. I thought she was sending me our usual Christmas, you know, exchange box. And I was kind of surprised and confused when I picked it up at the post office today. It is a Mido stationary box. Um, I guess it's one of their surprise boxes. So I've already taken it out of the um, packaging, but I, op I just took a quick peek and closed it because I wanted to open this um, on camera so that she can, you know, see my reactions to what's in the box. Because she has no idea either what is in the box. Um, she paid for the surprise box and then they just shipped it over to me. So let's get started. Let's see what they got. I would say this is probably a medium size flat rate box, you know? Um, oh wow, look at how much stuff. Oh yeah, Kat, I know you're jealous. <laughs> the first item right here, look at this. But um, actually, let's just start with this. We'll start with the small stuff. So I got some um, hand cream here. Let's get a closer look, okay. Um, this is, it's just olive hand cream, but definitely going to keep it in my purse. Look at the original price, $8.95. Now for those that don't know, Mido is a Japanese stationery store um, in San Francisco. I know that they have them, they might have them in other parts of the country, but um, the one that I used to go to all the time when I lived in San Francisco was the one in Japantown. So I'm pretty sure this is, it's got to be that Mido. Now this one is, what is this? A matchbox, yeah. And that's $8.95. Um, not sure what I'm gonna do with it, but hey, I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> so it looks like I got some stamps here. Uh-oh, I got two of the same ones. Um, don't think there's any more, but I will go ahead and gift one to Kat since she got me this. They're really cute. They're in Japanese and they're each $7.95. That's the thing about Mido. All this stuff is mostly from Japan and they're pretty pricey. I do remember them pretty being pretty pricey. Okay, this looks like it is a necklace, I think. And oh my gosh, look at the um, original price here. Let me get up closer. $27.95. Oh, it's pearl. Hey, that's my birthstone. Very, very dainty. I mean, I have to get up close so you can see it. Look at that. Pearl, serenity, protection, truth. Nurture the growth of inner wisdom. Trust your intuition and your imagination. That I do. Okay, so let's pull it out. Let's hope that this is going to be a long enough chain because if it's like 16 inches, I'm going to be pissed because I need it at least to be 18. It doesn't say. Yeah, it doesn't say, but that's okay. I'll try it on later on. Very, very dainty. It's by a company called Kai. Okay. And no, Kat, the, um, <laughs> I know you're gonna make a comment later on about Kai. Filipino, the name of a Filipino group from the 90s. Okay, so I've got here a travel candle, okay, from Simply Curated. Uh, 
smoke and embers. That's what it says on the side here and on the back. Okay. Hmm. It's kind of hard to say what it smells like. Um, let me see if it has a description on here. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it's really hard to say. It does smell like, you know what? It does smell like a burning fire. Like, you know, your fireplace kind of thing. Hence, smoke and embers. Okay, let's see. Oh, scented cuticle oil, which I do need. Um, and I like that they did put it in a little tiny bag. Oh, by the way, that was $14.95. This one is from Blossom. With It's infused with real flowers. Look at that, that's so pretty. And this was $9.95. Here, I'll show you really good. There you go, and then there's the price. Okay, so it says it's scented. Let's see what it's scented with. Let's stick that on the side. Mmm. Oops, it's getting on me. It smells like strawberries. Not bad. I will definitely use that after I'm done filming this. Um, I got a luggage tag here from Molly and Rex. <gasps> Oh, I love it. It's got a like subway map. I love it. And that was $11. Once again, here you go. Okay. Uh, let's pull out a little pin, enamel pin. Kawaii for $13.95. Swear, Mido, you get me with these prices, but still like your stuff. Um, this is a bracelet for $7.95 of a lion. I will have to ask which one of my nieces, the spirit animal, is a lion. So I can gift it to them because I probably wouldn't wear it. But it's really cute though. Okay, I have an iron-on patch, which I will definitely keep because he's cute. He's a chocolate bar. Mokoyubi. This is so on. Oh, darn. Thought it was like an iron on. That's okay. $6.95. Really cute. Some earrings, which I will gift to one of my nieces because I don't wear flat back. I mean, you know, these type because they push up against my ear and or the back of my ear when I'm on the phone. And these were originally $10, but they're super cute. They're little, I would say raindrops. Teardrops? I don't know. Okay. And then it looks like I got cards. Don't know anyone getting married, but I do have a card. If I do, you're getting married for $4. Okay. Mr. and Mrs. Another one <laughs> for $4. It's cute though. I like, oh, Mrs. and Mrs. Excuse me. Um, and I think I know who I'm going to give this card to. Better ugly than stupid. <laughs> For $5. <laughs> okay. Well, let's put these up here. So we've got, I've got a notebook with all these. You know, it's kind of funny because at Tuesday morning, I saw a couple of boxes with this print. And it was like on the, and I was kind of like, ah, should I get them? Should I not get them? Because I don't need any boxes. Because I really liked print but this is so cute it's just a dot grid but it's a this is like a B no yeah B6 I think this is B6 okay we'll put that over here all right so what do we got here I've got looks like another candle from patty wax okay yep mmm this one is gardenia. I think this is gardenia scented. Yeah, and this was originally $5.95. I'm gonna have to put this where I keep my travel stuff because that definitely is a good travel size versus that. Plus this one is a lot stronger smelling and I don't want my hotel room to smell like smoke. 
Okay, so I got some incense cones here. Uh, Zodiac must. Um, this is made in India and ironically enough, it has a crab on there because I am a Cancer and how fitting. I got the pearl, which is my birthstone. Now I got the incense with my uh, Zodiac sign. And they smell like, you know, the usual kind of incense. Okay, so I got, what is this? Yeah, it's 13, originally 13.95. It looks like that. Let's take it out of the packaging. I got so much tape on here. All right, let me grab my scissors. Good thing that I got my craft cart nearby. All right, so let's see what this is. I think it's just an ornament. Yeah, an avocado ornament. How funny. Well, too bad Christmas is over. Otherwise, I would have stuck this on the tree. Okay, so let's see what we got here. I got a pouch. I carry 20 kilos, 44 pounds. Make me happy. Use us. $13.95. Hey, not bad if it's 20 pounds. Uh, I don't know how. Loki? <laughs> So yeah, it's one of those fold away pouches. Um, I'm not going to open it up obviously because then it'd be a hassle to have to put it back together. Okay, so I know Kat is waiting for me to open this. Look at this. It's a nice velour pouch. Um, well, tote, excuse me. Uh, this one is definitely Japanese. Tori Dori. Oh, wow. So it retails in Japan for 2,000 yen, excuse me, which would be about eh, $20 probably. Of course, because it's imported, it's $29.95 at Mido. But it's, uh, man, this is like high quality. Ooh, so pretty. And I like that it's plastic lined. Look at that. It's got a pocket. It's just a very, you know, um, small pouch. Look at that. It's on the box here. I mean, you could put your uh, planners in it, your notebooks. So, love that. Okay, let's move the box over. Um, and of course, the last item. Oh, I miss living in California. A print of the state. And it's from LFOP. Um, real prints, not printouts. So, this retailed for, oops, let's do, there we go, $22.95. How pretty, I will frame this. Hmm. And then of course I got a lot of a uh, <laughs> shred here, which I can reuse. So yeah, that's it. That's all that was in the box. So I'm really happy with my surprise box. Really a surprise. Thank you very, very much, Kat. Um, I will be sending out your box soon once the postal apocalypse has um, is over <laughs> because I do have items, a couple of items that I'm waiting for to come in the mail and it's stuck literally 25 miles away from me at a sorting center. So I don't want that to happen to your box when I mail it. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and just wait until probably after the new year to mail out your stuff. Um, hopefully I will find some of the items that you are looking for and um, yeah, and then I'll also be mailing out Clarissa's. We're all friends in real life, Clarissa and Kat. So um, even though Clarissa is on YouTube and her channel is Karamia's Corner. Um, so go check her out. She does a lot of amazing mixed media, junk journal, not mixed media. Yeah, mostly junk journal, um, you know, that type of stuff. So, all right, well, I hope everyone had a good Christmas and that you were all safe and social distancing, not gallivanting around, visiting friends and spreading COVID despite us having a vaccine because we don't know when yet we're going to get vaccinated. But um, yeah, stay safe and I will post another video soon. Okay, bye.